What is up, Squared Nation? Welcome back to No Counters, No Combos. And today, we are back coming at you with another Tech Talk Tuesday. Um, I know last week was very light on the content, um, but the reason that was is because I was making the the podcast that I had last week. Uh, shout out to Eggman, Crossrail TCG, and Android for being... Um, our special featured guests, I was making that my priority because I wanted to make sure that I had enough talking points and that we addressed everything. So I kind of put all my eggs into one basket and instead of just bringing out some half-assed or uh, non-quality stuff, I decided let me just focus on this to make sure that this project is is the way I want it to be and then we'll go from there. But that was last week and now this is this week and of course we're starting off with a Tech Talk Tuesday. Now, I'm sure everybody has, um, you know, had their opinions on the new ban list that we have moving forward. Um, it's actually right around the corner now, being active June 1st. So I do um, anticipate a slightly slower format. And with that being said, I do see some cards coming out of the woodwork that could be possible tech choices for certain decks. One of the best decks I think moving forward is going to be a variant of Skillless. I still think Yellow is going to be the stronger variant just because of its access to Flying Nimbus and Bad Ring Laser. But I do think Blue can be a pretty good um, can be a pretty good variant as well. But I think those are. Um, the top two, few and far between. Uh, I don't think green gets there. I don't think it has enough support. And I think red is kind of cute, but it does lack a little bit in the department as far compared to um, blue and yellow. So this card specifically is more beneficial for that archetype. And as you can see by the image to the right, we're talking about Commander Red, head of the Red Ribbon Army. Now, this card is similar to Training Buddy Krillin. Training Buddy Krillin is a 2-drop 15k um, that when you play him, you can get a vanilla or skillless battle card with cost 2 or less from your drop area and play it. And if you do, uh, you can choose one of your opponent's battle cards and reduce it by 5k power, which is great because... You know, for two energy, you're getting two bodies on the board, one of them being a 20k, and you're also negging your opponent 5k on their board. Now, Commander Red is similar. It does cost one energy more, so it is a three drop, but it's a three drop 19k sparking three when you play this card. If your leader card is black, choose up to one skillless battle card with an energy cost of three or less from your deck or drop area, play it, then shuffle your deck if you look through it. So it doesn't have the minus 5k power like Training Buddy Krillin does. However, for 3 energy, you're getting out a 19k body and a 30k body, which can make a huge difference in the game moving forward. The good thing about Skillless is its utility in getting out its battle cards um, for for a non-full investment. And what I mean by that is the one-drop um, Sun Goku, the adventure begins, tutors out the vanillas or the skillless cards just for two energy. So obviously you're playing the two drops on curve, but you're playing the three drops for one less energy. And three drop 30Ks are very, very strong in the game right now. And the good thing about it is you can always recur them from the drop area. So along the theme of the deck, the Goku you know, gets a skillless card, Krillin gets a skillless card, and now Commander Red gets a skillless card as well. You're, you're kind of giving yourself more of an opportunity um, to not infinitely loop, but play multiple battle cards for the same amount of resources. You know, if you look at everything, it's a cost of three, except for Krillin. Krillin is the really the only one that gets you there um, for for a, a lower investment. So what I mean by that is... Um, Sun Goku the Adventure Begins is a one drop. So that's one energy that you're using for his his own summon. And then you're also tapping two energies to play a skillless battle card. So essentially you're you're investing three energies into that into that specific play. Yes, you do get a four-star Dragon Ball for free once per turn. Um, so you can kind of you can kind of break even there. But essentially you are using three of your resources for two cards. Krillin is obviously a plus one because he he is for two energy, you get two cards, so you're not really utilizing multiple resources. And then, of course, Commander Red breaks even. But if you're looking at energy efficiency, um, what's key there is that 
you're playing six energy worth of battle card with Commander Red for three energy. Same thing with Krillin. You're playing four energies worth of battle cards for two energy. And then with Goku, you're playing three energies worth of uh, you're playing um, four energy worth of battle cards for three energy. So you are paying less of a resource for each character that you bring out or each battle card that you bring out from these recursion effects. Now, the other thing is. Um, because you're use, utilizing minimal resources to continue these plays, you're obviously building more of a board presence moving forward. So if you're if you're if your one drop Goku's linger on the board, they accrue value as the game progresses. So it's one of those things where Commander Red and Training Buddy Krillin become optional plays at that point because you don't always need to play them on curve. So why I'm saying Commander Red right now is a tech choice is because it wasn't very heavily represented in the previous format, even though Skillless was probably one of the top decks in that format. People felt like, at least my, my personal opinion, I felt like playing uh tapping three energy for this card you know was kind of expensive i thought that there were better things that you can do with three energy or just make multiple plays with three energy and i think that was a widespread feeling in the community um i know joey uh, from crossworld tcg had the same feeling about you know it kind of feels bad tapping three for commander red when training buddy essentially does the same thing for one less energy but now that the format is slower that's the other thing too you have to remember you know all of this happened in the format where your biggest issue was super shenron but now that super shenron is essentially dead and the format is a lot slower you can get to turn three and four energy more comfortably so commander red doesn't seem like a bad card to play and when you're getting a 19k body and a 30k body for three energy that's very good because because on offense, it makes this a 20k battle card, um, and on defense, you know, it's still it's still a 15k battle card. But you still are putting pressure on your opponent um, with two battle cards as opposed to one. So for those of you skillless players out there who are experimenting with the skillless deck in the new format, and you're trying out different variants. Um, give this card a try. Um, I believe it's very, very good. I believe it's very slept on. And I, I think moving forward, it's going to be uh, more of a staple in the skill list decks, especially if the format tends to become more of a turn 4-5 as opposed to turn 2-3. So... For those of you who um, are still in love with the skillless Goku, as as am I, I think it's still one of the better decks in the format. I would definitely give Commander Red a try. There's also some cute interactions with this card and the Power Booster um, Xeno Vegeta that we got, um, but that that that's gonna be a different discussion for a different day. Um, so I just kind of wanted to get my my two cents out there and my thoughts on this card. It is a good card. 19k is nothing to scoff at, and you know being being able to bring a card out of the drop area is always good for play extension. So with that being said i hope you guys enjoyed this tech talk tuesday give this card a shot um it's it's a rare from set six so it should be easy to get your hands on you know as far as a play extender and kind of like a, an upgraded version of trading buddy krillin so let me know what you guys think about it in the comment section down below if you've had any success with this card and you know i'm free to any uh any any advice or any other interpretations that you guys might see interactions with this card as well so just uh let's open this up for discussion down in the comment section down below and um don't forget to check out the description box where we have all our links um, to all of our social media pages how you can get in contact with us uh, here at no counters no combos we really do appreciate all the support and the continuing growth for this not only this channel but our teammates and the community and we couldn't be more happy uh, being a part of the dragon ball super card game community so with that being said we're going to get on out of here thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video be there or be squared